Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: A sum of rupees ninety six thousand nine thousand six hundred is invested for three years at ten percent per annum at compound interest. Number one question: What is the sum due to the at the end of first year? At the what is the sum due at the end of second year? Find the compound interest earned in second year. Find the difference between the answers in question number two and question number one. And find the interest on this sum for one year. And the last one, hence write down the compound interest for the third year. So this is the questions on us about this. So this question will be the simple interest formula. So for that first we write for first year. Principal will be equal to rupees. So as the principal is given nine nine thousand six hundred. Rate of interest is given ten percent per annum, and time will be equal to one. So therefore, we write the ASI for first year so the formula is P R T by hundred. P R T by hundred means principal into rate into time by hundred. So put the values nine six zero zero into ten into one by hundred. So we cut the zeros. So remains rupees nine hundred nine thousand six hundred. So we have to cut one more zero. So it will be nine nine hundred sixty. So therefore, this is the interest for the first year. So now I have to find out the amount at the end of the first year. So therefore, write amount at the end of. First year will be equal to so the formula is principal plus SI. So we put the values. Principal is equal to nine thousand six hundred plus plus SI, which is nine hundred sixty, and it becomes rupees ten thousand five hundred sixty. So therefore, this is the uh, amount at the end of the first year. So therefore, this is the um, answer for our question number one, which has asked us to find out the sum at due date at the end of first year. So therefore, right. That question number one answer is rupees ten thousand five hundred sixty. So now the second part you have to find out the uh, interest for the second year. So to so right for second year principal will be equal to. So now the amount at the end of the first year, which is ten thousand five hundred sixty, will become the uh, principal for the second year. So it becomes ten thousand five hundred sixty. Red will be equal to same ten percent per annum. Time will be equal to one. So therefore, SI for second year or the simple interest for second year will be equal to same formula P R T by hundred. So is equal to put the values one zero five six zero into ten into one by hundred. So cut the zeros. So it becomes rupees one zero five six or one thousand fifty six is the interest for the second year. So now I have to find out the amount at the end of second year. So therefore, we write amount at the end of second year is equal to the same formula principal plus SI. So in this case, the principal is ten thousand five hundred sixty plus now one zero five six, which will equal to rupees eleven thousand six hundred sixteen. So therefore, for the answer for our second question, in which we are told to find out the sum due at the end of second year, will be equal to eleven thousand six hundred sixteen. So now we have to find out a third question, which is given find the compound interest earned in second year. So therefore, write the compound interest for second year is equal to. So compound interest formula is amount minus the original principal from which the from the that means the principal from which we start the question. So amount it will be rupees eleven thousand six hundred sixteen 
minus the original principal which is 9600 9, so it becomes rupees 2016 so therefore this is the compound interest until second year so therefore the answer for our third question is rupees 2016 so now I have to find out the the third question it is given that find a difference between the answers in question number two and question number one and find their interest for one year so therefore you write difference between question number two and question number one will be equals to so question number two is 11,616 so you put the value 11,660 616 plus the question in question number one which 10,560 so you put this value also 10,560 sorry it will be minus so now the difference is becomes rupees 1056 so now with this we have to find out the um, 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 interest for one year so therefore si is equal to same formula prt by 100 so you put the values so principal you have to take this as your principal so it becomes 1056 into rate the same rate 10 percent into 1 by 100 so you cut the zeros so it remains 1056 by 10 so as you all know it will go to one decimal place as it is by 10 so it becomes rupees 105.6 so as it is in rupees it gives one more zero so therefore this is the interest and in second year so therefore our answer for question number four is rupees 105.60 so now in the last part you are, we have to find out the interest and the amount at the end of third year so therefore you write for third year principal will request rupees so now the amount that you got at the end of the second year that is 11,660 will become the principal for the third year so that 11,616 rate is equal to 10 percent time is equal to one year so therefore final si for third year is equal to the formula prt by 100 so you put the values 11,616 into 10 into 1 by 100 so you cut the zeros first so now it remains 11,616 by 10 so now it will also go to one decimal place. So then 11,600. Now 1,161.6. So as it is in rupees, we give one more zero. So therefore, this is the interest under in the third year. So now therefore, the amount at the end of third year is equal to the same formula principal plus SI. So our principal is 11,616 plus this one, uh, I mean the interest that is 1,161.60. So it will become rupees 12,777.60. Therefore, this is the amount and at the end of second year. So now our last part, you have to find out the compound interest. So therefore, compound interest is equal to The formula is amount minus the original principal. That means from which the we start the question. So I put the values. Amount is twelve thousand seven hundred seventy seven point six zero minus the original principal. That is nine thousand six hundred. So it becomes rupees three thousand one hundred seventy seven point six zero. So therefore, this is the compound interest and compound interest for the third year. So now we write down all the answers that for question number one in which it is given what, what is the sum due at the end of first year so it becomes rupees 10,560 now the second one in which you have to find out the, find out the amount due at the end of second year so it becomes rupees 11,616 now the third one in which you were asked to find out the compound interest and in the second year so it will become rupees 2016 so now the fourth part in which you are asked to find out the interest 
yeah, for by the principle which you got by different uh, uh, subtracting question number two and question number one, so it becomes rupees one hundred five point six zero. And now our last one that is question number five in which we were asked to find out the compound interest for third year that becomes rupees three one seven seven point six zero. So therefore, this is our final answer for this question. So guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions.